Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything. Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son Isaac will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. The Binding of Isaac was released in September of 2011, created by a three-man team in only three months. The creative mind behind this game is none other than Edmund McMillan. Previously known for his work on Super Meat Boy, The Binding of Isaac has quickly become his most well-known title. This game contains many references to his previous works, including Gish, Time Fuck, and Super Meat Boy. We'll go into more detail as we encounter those references. Now, I'm not certain I'm pronouncing this correctly, but the programmer behind this game is Florian Himsel. He's been creating Flash games for quite some time now, and runs a website called comexgames.com, which features a large library of his games. There's even a demo of The Binding of Isaac. And last, but not least, is Daniel Baranowski. For those of you who have been following the video game music scene, Baranowski has been remixing video game music and creating original compilations for quite some time. He even did the soundtrack to Super Meat Boy. Plenty of his work is available at ocremix.org, and I highly recommend checking it out. So what exactly is The Binding of Isaac? Obviously, from the introduction, the plot is loosely based on the story of Abraham and Isaac from Genesis. But what about the gameplay? It's been described as Zelda meets roguelike, but even that description doesn't seem accurate. The game is a series of dungeons, each floor containing a shop, treasure, and boss room. Isaac carries his primary weapon and a variety of rechargeable sub-weapons, though he can only carry one at a time. Akin to Zelda-style RPG progression, Isaac becomes more powerful by acquiring treasures in treasure rooms, clearing challenge rooms, and defeating bosses. Oh, and your health is measured in hearts. That's about where the Zelda comparisons end, though. The Binding of Isaac does draw heavily on its roguelike roots for its gameplay, including features such as randomized dungeons, treasures, and bosses. The most striking feature that it borrows is permadeath. Unlike a Zelda game where dying means going back to the start of the dungeon, in The Binding of Isaac, death means starting over. It's not that bad, though. The game can be completed in less than an hour, so no death will cost you too much time. Just brush yourself off and try again. 
There's plenty more about the gameplay we could discuss here, but I think the rest is best explained as we go. So, without further ado, let's play The Binding of Isaac. <laughs> 